Hi there, it's John Weiss with eXp Real Estate and the Florida for Boomers Network here in beautiful Sarasota, Florida. Getting a ton of questions lately about how our homes are constructed and the building process. How does it work? How do we pick out the home? How do we pick out a lot? How does the whole process work? How are the homes constructed? What do they look like? So I wanted to do a video about that to show you a floor plan of one of the most popular uh, floor plans in the Dell Webb communities. If you're looking for roughly 2,500 square feet, their model called, it's currently called the Stellar at the Dell Webb Bayview, which is located in Parrish. It used to be called a Pinnacle, excuse me, in the Dell Webb of Lakewood Ranch. Same plan but just a different name. So the way the process works when you and I go to a construction site to look at models, to see if you're interested in the community, what happens is you look at the different models that they offer. You say, okay, John, yes, we like the Stellar. We want to build one of those. Then we meet with the uh, sales rep to see which lots are currently available to build on. So they're going to give you the base price of the home, and then you're going to add the lot that you choose onto that price. So it just depends on what you choose. Is it going to be uh, on a lake? Is it going to be on a preserve lot, which is called, uh, we call it preserve with woods behind it. Um, that's the way most of the lots are at the Del Webb Bayview in Parrish. Um, I don't think they have any homes that back up to other homes. It's either a preserve. They do have a wetland there that can never be disturbed, uh, that some homes back up to that. So then you pick out your lot and then you go to the contract process with the uh, agent there at the community. Now, you don't get any representation from that sales rep there at the community. They are amazing. They are highly trained. They're super friendly, but they work for the builder. They're there to get you to spend as much money as you possibly can. It costs you zero out of pocket for an agent like myself to go with you, to help you figure out which model works best for you what lots are the best, north, south, east, west, where's the sun going to be coming over the top of my pool, all of those things. Things you can do after market to save a ton of money. So um, again, going with an agent who represents you, that helps you through the whole entire process. And if you work with us, we go out there about every two weeks and either do a live video with you or we make a video for you. So if you're still up north, you can watch your home being built the whole entire process. But anyway, let's talk about the Stellar. Three bedroom, three bath, den, three car garage. Now, again, the construction, all these walls are concrete block walls. So they're built up to the highest, newest standards in the state of Florida. The Del Webb and Parrish Bayview now come with the impact windows. It's a requirement on new construction in Florida that they either come with hurricane shutters or impact windows. So the builder has decided to just go ahead and install the impact windows now their price went up because it's pricey to put those in. And there's a lot of windows in this house, but it's going to come with those. So two car garage, two SUVs fairly easily go in there. This is big enough as it says for a golf cart or a very small compact car or doing a lot of storage like a lot of people do. So as you walk in and we're going to watch a video that I got off of our website, it's about a different Dell web in a different area, but it's the same model home. You'll see French doors on here. Nice area. If you're still working, makes a tremendous office. Or uh, some people like to make this a TV room. Different different options of things to do. So bedroom two right here. 
um, is going to shut off. It's a great guest bedroom because then with this shut, you have uh, the bathroom and their bedroom. So they have like a suite to themselves. Um, going in this direction, coming in from the garage, you have a laundry room that you can design with cabinets and a sink and anything you want to do in there. Bedroom three is actually, um, this probably is not probably, it is the smallest bedroom in the house. It's like an 11 by 11, probably big enough for like a double bed and a nightstand or two. Okay. This one would hold a queen size bed easily, couple of nightstands, reach in closet right here. As you come back out, this is the bathroom for the, this particular bedroom. So not, not as great for guests as over here where they can shut this off and have privacy. So then you enter the uh, what I call great room, gathering room area. It's large, plenty of room for entertainment. People put their TVs right here on this wall. Uh, space for four bar stools right here. Uh, walk-in pantry, and then um, you'll get to design all of this as far as countertops, tile backsplash, type of appliances you want. Um, and we'll show you that as we go through the video. The cafe area can hold just about any size table. If you want like a formal dining room table there, some people do like pub tables there. I've seen a lot of different things done. We'll talk about these doors right here, sliding glass doors that come with it, or you can upgrade to have sliding glass doors here as well, which is very, very popular. The owner's suite, plenty big enough for a king size bed and two very large nightstands. Easily fit that and still have a ton of room. Most people put a TV on the wall right here. Uh, three windows makes it very light and bright. Owner's bathroom. This closet is huge, dual sinks, and then a walk-in shower, and they have a um, seat right here, bench seat that you can sit on coming in and out of the shower, whatever. So um, the Bayview uh, Dell Webb and Parish does not offer a pool during the construction process right now, but that's something you can do after market and save a ton of money anyway. What happened was when the market was so crazy, they quit offering them because the pool builder couldn't get the pool done in time because they were so far behind. The house would be finished, but they couldn't get the CO on the property because the pool wasn't finished. So they stopped offering them. But if you decide you want a pool, I can help you with that. I have pool builders that I can uh, refer you to. So this is the, uh, as I said, the stellar, this is the video I got off um, the website. So as you can see, three car garage, they're gonna come with paver walkways and paver driveways automatically. This is the window right here that I talked to you about that gives you some extra square footage. So this is a different elevation from the one that I showed you on the model where it just had the window like this. All right, so I think there's like five to six different elevations. They'll give you one elevation. There's no, no cost. This is what it comes with. If you decide you're going to go with stone on the front of the house, then that's an upgrade. So you go to a different elevation, this window, different elevation. So many different things, uh, tile roofs, tile shingle, really just about the same. Um, back in the old school days, I think they believed that this would help during a hurricane hold your roof down. But now the roofs are actually strapped to the trusses and uh, the concrete block walls to hold them down. So not a lot of difference between shingle and tile, really. <clears throat> Floor plan that we just walked through. We're going to talk about the uh, gathering room as we walk in. You can see French doors right here on the den that we talked about. Highly recommend that because it just adds to if you need privacy for an office, if you may use that for an extra guest room or for grandkids when they're here, highly recommend that. You'll have your choice of the type of flooring that you're going to want to do. Um, plank tile like this is very, very popular here. The luxury vinyl uh, is popular 
again, and um, that's very durable, less expensive than plank tile. Um, during the build process, the builder will offer you uh, the square 17 by 17 inch tiles will be standard that comes with it. So you can stick with that if you want or uh, upgrade to the plank tile. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see it's a large gathering room. This is a kitchen that we talked about. And you can see they've got a dining table there. Now, some of the things you'll have a choice of uh, quartz countertops, granite countertops, whatever you want type of sink you want, type of faucet you want, type of appliances you want. Do you want to put a hood system in? Do you want to add these lights? They will have the electrical up there, but the lights are an upgrade. That's, again, something you can do after market. You go to Lowe's and buy your lights and have my handyman come and hook that up for you and save some money. Now, they did this particular model with the dark cabinets. Some people like that. I highly recommend that you don't do that in Florida. Because everybody comes here and kind, kind of goes with that light beachy type of theme, light and bright. So I do not recommend going with dark cabinets, but your choice. Uh, oven, microwave, refrigerator is over here. And then you'll see a little either wine bar, or coffee bar area. You can have them add in a uh, wine cooler for you. This is the pantry right here walk-in pantry, tons of space. Okay, that's looking back at that area. Now we're going to go over to the uh, primary bedroom, owner's suite. Now this is a huge room. That's a king-size bed, maybe a, maybe a queen, but you can see there's a ton of room in there for a king-size bed and oversized nightstands fit there easily and still have a lot of space here. And then the TV is over in this area. Those are the windows I talked about. Here's the closet that I told you could be a fourth bedroom. It's huge, uh, just absolutely uh, ginormous. And it comes with these wire shelves. You can have them upgrade that, but I recommend that you do that after construction. Again, you got people I can refer to you, do the California closets or whatever you want to do in there, but standard is going to come with these wire shelves. Some people stay with that. They don't mind it. Okay. Now we are going to go to that next bedroom. This is one that I told you would be the smallest of the three bedrooms. This is like an 11 by 11. This is probably a double bed that they're showing you in there. They've got two nightstands that would be definitely filling that room up for sure. Does have a nice window there. Keep it light and bright. <clears throat> and then that other bedroom that we talked about as well. They went with the plank tile flooring in here. This is showing you that flat window across there, just like we uh, looked at on this. We're going to talk about this uh, den now. Plenty of space for a large desk in there. Some people put a hide -a bed in there. Some people have it set up, you know, with a TV in there. So that's where they watch TV and they don't have anything out in the uh, great room area at all. A lot of people have their TV there and out on the lanai and then in the bedroom. I mean, how many do you need? But... That's what a lot of people I've seen do. Um, covered lanai is very nice area. Now, this shows those pocketing sliding glass doors. I highly recommend that you do this. Um, it's very desirable, definitely during resale, because when people see this, they can't get their mind off of it. So when you don't have this, uh, it's kind of like, oh, they didn't do the, that pocketing door. This time of year, really kind of November through April, during the day, you could have this open all day long. And especially if you have this, this will be standard right here. This porch area doesn't come screen, but you can enclose this. If you decided to stay just with that, they're showing the model with a pool. As I said, they don't come with a pool in the new construction process, but you have plenty of room to add a pool out there. And then with the pool comes the pool cage. We're always screened here with our pools because during the summertime when we get a lot of rain, mosquitoes, it, you wouldn't be able to go out there. It'd just be, you know, worthless area if you didn't have it. Now this, they 
call this the picture frame screen. This is the newest, latest, greatest thing because it doesn't have these bars that come down across all the way through here. So it just makes this look like a picture frame. It's, it's really, really nice. I've seen a couple of the homes like this. Now, they don't have any homes built back here. It is on a lake. But eventually, on that other side of the lake, you would have homes over there. So have to be something that you're okay with. So that pool that they did, back that up just a little bit. Now, this is a walk-in area here. Then you go into the pool. They've got the waterfalls. they got the uh, jacuzzi. You're probably talking $120,000 to $150,000 pool with this walk-in area. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it right there. They got the bubbles coming up there. Water, two sets of waterfalls, jacuzzi, very expensive pool. Pavers would be all around there, but it makes a beautiful entertaining area for sure. Okay, so that takes us all through that. <coughs> so as I said, we meet, we talk about what you're looking for in a home. Hopefully we do a Zoom call before you even get here. And then we talk about different neighborhoods that might interest you. What we want to know, we don't just want to get here, show you homes. We want to know the kind of lifestyle you're looking for to match you to that particular community. And then we find the home in that community that matches what you like. A lot of things to choose. The model, the lot, what the lot view is. The direction of the home, is it north, south, east, west, which is better? Do you want the sun coming over your house from east to west or west to east? Do you want it facing north and south so the breeze comes through your house during this time of year? All those things are very important to talk about, and we want to make sure we help you make the right decision for you. And again, matching your lifestyle to the community you want whether it's a 55 plus community, active adult community, a golfing community, a family community, we've got it. So we'll help you find it. I didn't say it. If you're seeing me here on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We market heavily to baby boomers moving here to Florida, but we also have people finding us on YouTube, families that are relocating here too. So we help them find the school district that they want to be in. That's very important for families and um, just help you find the perfect area for you. So uh, hit the notification bell. We put out stuff two to three times a week. It's all free. So um, I'm here for you. Feel free to make a comment, call me, email me, whatever you'd like to do. But I'm here to be a resource for you. Uh, been doing this 18 years and know this area very, very well. We cover all of Manatee and Sarasota County from Parrish down to Northport where Welland Park is, all the way out to the beaches, Siesta Key, Lido Key, Longboat Key, Anna Maria Island. I can help you with all that. So I look forward to hearing from you. God bless. And I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.